This is a presentation on platelet-rich plasma. The components of blood include red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, and plasma. Red blood cells are critical for oxygen delivery. White blood cells are critical for inflammation and immunity. Platelets are critical for clotting. Plasma is critical for healing and contains proteins, growth factors, and cytokines, which allow cells to communicate with each other. Platelet-rich plasma, also known as PRP, is extracted from the body by spinning blood in a centrifuge and allowing different components of blood to separate into different layers. By removing red and white blood cells from the blood, we are left with concentrated platelets and growth factors which are critical to healing tissues. PRP is used surgically to augment healing tissues. PRP is used non-surgically to help chronically injured and poorly vascularized tissues heal. The steps for PRP injection include drawing blood from the patient in the clinic, spinning the blood in a centrifuge for five minutes, extracting PRP from the blood sample, and then injecting the PRP into tissue. This is a picture of the centrifuge from Arthrex used to spin down the blood sample. On top of it sits the blood sample drawn from the patient in the clinic. After centrifugation, you can see the sample here. The blood is the lower layer and the PRP is the gold or yellow layer. So now I'm going to drop the PRP here. The trick is to just... Here is a video of the actual PRP extraction. This sample has been centrifuged already. You can see the blood layer down below and the gold and yellow layer of PRP above. The ACP kit from Arthrex has a simple syringe that allows you to suction and extract the PRP from the sample. Here's a picture of the final PRP extraction. You can see there's 5 cc's in this sample of pure PRP that will be used for injection. Some common surgical uses of PRP are for augmentation of ACL reconstruction and repair, in which we bathe the graft in PRP, meniscus repair, in which the PRP is injected into the meniscus repair site, rotator cuff healing, in which the PRP is injected into the rotator cuff repair, as well as cartilage repair, in which the PRP can be injected into the cartilage repair site or the cartilage bathed in the PRP fluid. Some common non-surgical uses of PRP are augmentation of healing in Achilles tendonitis, lateral epicondylitis or tennis elbow, patella tendonitis, as well as osteoarthritis of the knee. Some considerations for the use of PRP include that it is a minimally invasive method of augmenting healing with a patient's own blood, it is simple and can be done in the office or in surgery, it seems to be most effective in tendinopathies or augmentation of healing. However, it is not proven effective in large clinical studies and is not yet covered by insurance.